aids the forces of law and order is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man of our town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's drama, Etched with Acid. It's night. The silver sliver of moonlight spears its way through the darkness of the bedroom. Suddenly, the French doors overlooking the balcony swing slowly open. Three men enter quietly, walk to the side of the bed. Turn your light on, Amari. Right. Yo, handsome, watch that door. Nobody gets okay with you. Wake her up, man. Sure, boy. Pretty, ain't she? She won't be long. Wake her up. Come on out of it, sister. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Winthrop. Oh, you rich. You were three weeks late for our date, Mrs. Winthrop. I thought you'd forgotten. I didn't forget. I was going to call you. You're lying. You were supposed to have some jewelry for me. What is it? I couldn't go through with it, Richie. Well, that would be crooked, eh? But it's all right to renege on a test, eh? This time I'll get you your money, I promise you. You had your time, you're welcome. I'll get it this time, I'll borrow, I'll do anything on it. You had your warning. Give me the bottle, Mary. Sure, boss. Here, don't get an eye. No, no, you wouldn't. No, 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 no! <laughs> Shouldn't have hit so hard, man. I had a boss. Same in the head I see. But now she won't know what's happening to her. You really gonna let her have it, boy? Yeah. All of it. Turn the light on her face. Now stand by. Face! <laughs> oh, let mud on, handsome. Sure, boy. Everything. Good Lord. She's sort of like a sales sample, boy. We'll use her to persuade other dames that we mean business. All right, folks, step up and make your bet. Make your bet, folks. The wheel's hot tonight. Turn on the black, please. Turn on the black, right. The boss wants to see you now. Well, what are you This way, Mrs. Terry. What's so urgent that he has to see me right now? Here's the boss's office. Ask him. Step in. Hello, Richie. Maddie said you want to see me. Yeah, Mrs. Terry. Couldn't it wait? <laughs> it has waited too long. What are you talking about? Desire are yours. They're yours, ain't they? Oh. Well, I, I've had a sort of losing streak. But I'll pay you. When? As soon as I get the money. I don't have it right now. Your husband has. But I wouldn't ask him. If he knew I'd been gambling and, and losing so much. Oh, I couldn't reach him. Where's that leave me? I don't run this place for my own amusement. How much is it? Forty-two hundred. I haven't got it, Richie. You got that much more and more in jewels. That rock on your finger alone is worth over a grand. But I couldn't part with these. My husband would know. Not the way we'll do it. The stuff insured? Well, yes, of course. Good. It's going to get lifted tomorrow night. Oh. Your husband gets his insurance. We get our dough. Everybody's satisfied. But there's a burglar alarm. That ain't how it happens, Mrs. Surrey. Tomorrow night you'll be at the High Hole Club. You get up from your table at exactly 11.20. Leave this stuff on your table in a little change purse. Mary will take care of the rest. But... There ain't no but. Remember that society then that was found dead? Her face all eaten away by acid. I read about it. Sad, wasn't it? You wouldn't think anything that serious could happen just because she didn't follow instructions, would you? You certainly must have been in the mood for some.
coming tonight, Lamont. Whatever brought you down to this place? No, oh, just curiosity, Margot. The only one's told me that the High Hole Club was the best place to see how the uh, other half lived. Well, from the looks of some of the gowns and jewels, I would say it lived pretty well. Yes, there are a lot of beautiful jewels in the place. Mm. Well, that's a woman over there who seems nervous about hers. Which one? See her? Putting a bracelet in her purse. Oh, Lamont, it's a beautiful bracelet, too. Hey, now, that's careless of her. That woman put a bracelet in a change purse, left it on a table, now she's getting up to dance. Oh, well, she'll probably keep her eye on it. Yeah, I guess so. Wait a minute, Margo. Someone else has an eye on that bracelet. For goodness sake, yes, that man picked up because he's leaving with it, Lamont. Take it, Margo. I'll be right back. Uh, just a second. What's on your mind, mister? Didn't you make a mistake? I just saw you pick up a purse at the lady's table here. You're in my way, mister. I'd put it back if I were you. Why, I'll... Anything wrong, boys? I'm the manager. This smart guy's trying to start something. Says I picked up a dame's purse. I don't stand for funny stuff in my place, Matty. Did you pick it up? Maybe. Let's get back out of the way. Like that, we won't start anything. Now, uh, what about this purse? There's a diamond bracelet in it. Start talking, Matty. I'm getting it fixed. It's got a broken catch. Oh, does a lady know about it? Ask her. Who is she? Her name's Mrs. Surrey. Surrey? I'll get her. Uh, don't go away. Haven't I seen you someplace, Matty? I've never been there. Oh, I see. A conversationalist, huh? If I were you, mister, I wouldn't... Here's Mrs. Surrey. What's all this about? Your bracelet. I saw this man pick Maddie? up... Maddie? What about Maddie? You know him? Of course I know him. What's all of this about? Oh, I saw him pick up your bracelet from the table. I told him I'm taking it to get the catch fixed. That's right. I asked him to. I see. I, uh, I just thought that... It's no concern of yours. You have no right to interfere. I'm sorry. You'll be a lot sorrier someday if he keeps sticking your nose where it ain't wanted. Never mind the hard talk, Maddie. This is a respectable joint. The guy made a mistake. That's all. Yeah, mistake. Good night, Mrs. Surrey. Good night, Maddie. Well, I'm sorry. I guess I have been a bit of a nuisance, Mrs. Surrey. No, not at all. Good night. Good night, Mrs. Surrey. Why so quiet, Lamont? Did that little episode back at the high hall fit you? No, but I can't get it out of my head that that woman was frightened. Badly frightened. Who did you say she was? Named Surrey. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. I read about her. She's a very gay socialite. Yes, exactly. I keep thinking about another gay young society woman, Mrs. Winthrop. She was brutally murdered not so long ago. And you think Mrs. Surrey's a danger? Very grave danger. Danger of being murdered? I don't know. She acted as though she were afraid of something... something worse than murder. Well, I read about that Winthrop killing. It was horrible. The face was... just... just all gone. Yes, acid. Margot, I think I'll have a talk with Mrs. Surrey tomorrow when her chaperone isn't around. <laughs> Your house this evening. The 
tell you I don't know anything about it. Handsome, Jim. The bottle. What? Here you are. What are you going to do? We got a special beauty treatment we save for double crosses. I'm going to give you a preview of it. No, no, no. Hold on, Handsome. <laughs> We're being good natured today, Mr. We're going to use this copper bowl instead of your face. For now. We just pour a few drops from the bottle into the bowl. Like this. You see, Mr. Terry? It eats right into the metal. That's all, Mr. Terry. You can go home now. running them down now. You and Mary pay the dame a visit tonight. And, uh, no monkey business with a dame. See, Hans? Of course not, boy. But, uh, what do I do? Chill it? No. The police might get inquisitive. Then? She's driving a car. When she puts it away tonight, you'll be waiting in the garage. You'll give the dame a special beauty treatment. That's a cinch to make the guy lose his memory. <laughs> Too bad Mr. Surrey wasn't home this evening, Lamar. Well, it can wait till tomorrow, Margo. Yeah, but... Where are you going, darling? Well, I'm going to drive you home. Oh, no, darling, it's late. I'll help you put the car away and I'll catch a cab at the corner. Well, I can just as well drive you home. Well, then we'll ride to your garage now. All right. That won't take a minute. Oh, darling, toss me the keys to the garage, will you, so I can open the doors for you? Here you are. Cat. Ah, it. it's the big key. Okay. Hey, you sure this is the right key? Well, I think so. It... No, it's all right. I've got it. Okay, drive in. Well, now that you're here, don't you want to come in for a minute? Oh, not tonight, darling. I'd really rather get home. Oh. Come on. The friend was tired. He's lying down. Oh, I... All of a sudden, lady, I'm nervous. Get out of that car. What have you done to him? If I were you, I'd be more concerned what we're going to do to you. Get out! What is this? What do you want with me? Your friend has been bothering us. We want to discourage him. We're going to use you to discourage him. My friend has a special beauty treatment he's going to give you. Oh, no, no, you're, you're just trying to scare me. Got the bottle found? Yeah, you I... all there. Don't... Help! Help! Me. Help! Hurry up. I can't hold him. A little more. more. Down, Mrs. 
the time? Who said that? The shadow. <laughs> Where are you? The lights are on, but I... I can't see anyone. No one sees the shadow, Mrs. Surrey. I tell you, I, I never saw that man before last night. I haven't double-crossed you, I swear it. Don't kill me. I'm not here to kill you. I'm here to help you. you you're not one of Ricci's gang? A shadow fights men like Ricci. Oh, oh, I wish I could believe that. You must, because I need your help to destroy them. What do you want from me? Tell me what happened last night. I can't tell you. They'd kill me if they found out. No one will ever know you've spoken to the shadow. Tell me, Maddie was part of the gang, wasn't he, Mrs. Sturdy? Yes, he came to get my jewels. I... No, no, I can't tell you anymore. When are you going to see Maddie and the gang again? Tonight. At reach you. Good. Go there. I'm afraid. Go there, Mrs. Surrey, and follow their instructions. That gang will be smashed, I promise you. The shadow knows. <laughs> Oh, Lamont, I've been trying to reach you all afternoon. I've been busy piecing together this puzzle, Margot. Where's it been? I did a couple of visits to some of the larger insurance claims agents. I was curious to find out how many claims they've had lately on stolen jewelry. And have there been many? Yes, quite a few. Companies are worried, but the people involved are so important they hesitate to do anything. Well, what about Mrs. Surrey? She filed a claim for her bracelet, said it was lost several nights ago. But we know that... It's almost a foolproof dodge, Margot. A maid saw her go out with it that night. Various people saw her wearing the bracelet, and she didn't have it when she came home. Yeah, but we saw what happened. Uh, we're supposed to be thoroughly scared. Just supposed to be? Well, I think I've got the evidence I need. I could smash the ring right now, but all I could prove is extortion. When we get them, I want to get them for cold-blooded murder. And how are you going to do it? I'm going to reach his gambling den just outside of town. The gang's headquarters, apparently. Can I go along? No. Not this time, Margot. This is a case for the shadow. Come on in, Mrs. Curry. Oh, it's you. I, I got a message telling me to meet Weechie here. That's right. I sent that message. A little playmate, hand. I, I think I'll wait outside until we come. Have the door is locked. Oh. We, uh, we wouldn't want to be disturbed, would we? Let me out of here. Now, is that being sociable? I, uh, I thought maybe you and me could have a little talk. What about? You and me. Maybe we could start it off with a little kiss. You must be crazy. Maybe. But then I always was crazy for things you request. Ricky won't like this. I'm not worried about Ricky's things, does he? I'm kind of not being here when Ricky gets back. I'll tell him. I'll tell him everything. You won't be here either, that is. What do you mean? You and I are going places. Together. I'm not going any place with you. Uh, you don't think I can afford you? Well, then, uh, take a look at this. Sure. Mm-hmm. A whole bag full of them. That's right. Change your mind about coming, Duchess? you? No. I wouldn't go with a cheap crook like you and... Cheap crook, eh? So you're too good for me, eh? Come here, sister. Let go of me. I've just pulled your hands behind your back like this. I, I won't tell Ricky. I won't tell anybody. You won't have to. Now the bottle. Ever see this? The acid. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. Help! Help! You're wasting your time, Duchess. Ricky had this room soundproof. What are you going to do? You think you're too good for me, eh? Okay, Duchess. Well, I'm through with you. You won't be good enough for anybody. Please let me go. I'll get you money. Anything. Save your breath. You might need it. Now, the door. The door's open. That's funny. I don't see anybody. Now, the door's closed. Then Maddie trying to spy on us. Oh, handsome, please let me go. I never did anything to you. You don't like the idea of the beauty treatment, eh, Duchess? There was another dame just like you. She didn't like it either. She's the one who's going to put you in the electric chair, handsome. Who said that? The shadow. I've come for vengeance. <laughs> Where are you? Right here, handsome, at your elbow. Look at you. <laughs> the other elbow, handsome. <laughs> Play it with me. Well, I'll kill her. I can see her. No, you don't, handsome. Stop it, Iris. He almost broke my wrist. Now, 
we've relieved you of your gun. Here's something you've had coming for a long while. Dick! And here's another for a couple of friends of mine. You... You killed him, Miss Shadow. I just knocked him out. Ah, what's all this jewelry, Mrs. Zoe? It's the gang. Handsome was getting ready to run away with it. Uh, first, we'll scoop it back into this bag. I'd advise you to withdraw your insurance claim, Mr. Surrey. Your bracelet and the rest of these jewels will be turned over to the insurance companies. Return to their owners. But what about Handsome, Ricky, and the others? I'll take care of them. As soon as I've seen you on your way, and the... I'm coming back to take care of Ricky and the rest of his gang. <laughs> Your jaw get your eyes open. The chance of wrecking. The boss's safe is wide open. What's happened? The shed. The shed has been the shadow. Yeah, you sure? Of course I'm sure, man. He came in here. I couldn't even see the guy. First thing I know, he's giving me a going over. Shadow. You're lucky you're still alive. We better get out of here. He'll be coming back. Let him. I got my rod, and the minute he comes but in. But the gun, you can't see him. Yeah, you're right. Well, we better get out of what? No. It's a shadow, Matty. We're done for. Teaches them a lesson. 